So I really think I've uh, taken it as far as I can. <laughs> I can't cut those springs any further. So I'm going to have to settle for this for now. If I want the front more down, I'm going to have to look at drop spindles. So I think what I'd like to do now is look at this opening here and maybe put the same opening in the back here. Because remember, I am chasing my final cutout on this fender. And when that is done, <laughs> I can paint this. So I'm going to measure that opening and put it in here and just see what it looks like. So if I make this wheel arch opening the same as the front, that's the line I'm kind of getting. But that's not working for me at all. I really don't like it. I don't think it's going to look right. So I think I'm going to mark another line. Not this one. No. I can't make up my mind. I actually like it pretty much the way it is. But it doesn't match the front. I don't know what to do. Help! <laughs> well, if all else fails, get a coffee and the old thinking chair and stare at it. Mm. So why did I come up with this idea that this wheel arch opening should be the same as the front? I mean, who makes the rules around here anyway? Well, actually, my wife does. <laughs> well, not in my shop. Everywhere else in the world, but not in my shop. So I think all I'm going to do here is to just give it a little bit of a straight line here to reflect the fender up here is pretty straight. Plus, it's got the straightness of the load bin up there. And then I'm just going to fade that in radius it nicely in on either side the front fender's also got this bit of a sort of a straight line here so I think if I do the same in the back aesthetically it will just look right In one of my typical OCD sessions, I've been messing with this shape for quite some time. Enough now, the values. It's good enough. There are. <laughs> so, of course, there's no lip on this now, so it's quite floppy. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually edge it with a piece of quarter inch round bar, 6 millimeter. I'm going to tack that onto that edge and that will stiffen it up nicely let's just pre-shape it a little bit something like that I guess I better go fetch the welder <laughs> Now why would I want to fight gravity? I'm just going to take the whole mudguard off and uh, do it on the floor. Right, the bolts are out. Now I've got to be strong. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ah, 
Okay, so I've clamped on some off-cut pieces of angle bar. And if I go closer now, you will see that they are going to help me line up to make it flush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack it in one spot where I see it's good and then I can adjust it accordingly and move along and get the shape to line up nicely. So I'm definitely not going to weld it fully. I'm just going to give it a tack every inch and a half and I want it to look nice. So I'm just going to mark it like that. Um, I'm definitely not going to fill and fair it either. So yeah, I just want to little, see the little tacks and I want them to be nice and e equally spaced. Okay, first tack right there. Check that I'm happy with the next one. Now it feels good. Next one. Check that I'm happy with the next spot. And so I'm going to work my way along. So your previous tack, tack heats up the round bar a little bit, then you can just bend it until you meet your next point. Give that a tack. Now bend it again. A little bit more. Ah, uh, that's good. Should have left my bar a little bit longer. <laughs> I need a lever now. Uh, let me just get something. Bend it down a little bit. A little bit more. <laughs> right, that looks kind of okay. Go in a little bit more. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, now I want to weld it to the step. The step is removable. No, I'm going to do this one when the stop step is off. Here we go. Make some more marks. I just need to give it a rough shape. Something like that. Bit of a turn here. Well, that's kind of good enough for me. A little bit more. Kind of good enough for now. I can fine tune it as I go along. That looks good.
Next one, next one looks good. The next one is good. truck one more time just to double check everything and then I can finally paint it and that's the end result if nothing else it's nice and stiff now that's not flopping around anymore and I will even be able to get the tire off I think it might just clear here yeah? if you were building a show car then you would probably want to fully weld this that's going to be quite a mission it will take a long time most guys will just fill it with plastic and fair it out. That's not my world. I'm very happy with exactly what I have here. Thank you. Okay, cool. Now I can blow some paint all over it. Oh, shit, no. Still got to do the one on the other side. Well, I'm sure you always don't want to watch me doing this twice. So <laughs> I'll just say goodbye and do it by my lonesome self. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.